a very veggie soup. So I've got a pot with some butter and I actually heated it until it got to the brown stage. And I'm gonna add some onions. And then I have a bowl full of root veggies that I peeled and chopped. Carrots, parsnips, turnips, and rutabagas. And then some ginger and garlic, whole garlic cloves. And then I'm gonna stir these around just to coat them. I'm not gonna have to cook them at this stage. I just wanna kinda get the veggies coated in that delicious brown butter mixture. Sprinkle some salt and pepper. Perfect, and now I'm gonna add the broth. I've got two big honkin' cartons <laughs> of chicken broth. You can also use veggie broth if you wanna keep it truly vegetarian. Two spices, I've got some allspice and ground coriander, sprig of thyme, stir all of this together. All right, now I'm just gonna bring it to a quick boil and then I'll turn it down to a simmer, put the lid on and let it cook for 20 minutes until the vegetables are totally soft. Okay, the soup has been simmering. It's just about ready to puree, but first I'm gonna fry some shallots that I'm gonna use to serve over the top of the soup. So I've just got some vegetable oil and very thinly sliced shallots. I peeled the shallots and sliced them. And now I'm just gonna fry them in vegetable oil until they're golden brown. And then I'll take them out of the oil and drain them on a paper towel. Look at these beautiful fried shallots. Absolutely incredible topper for soup. All those vegetables have been cooking away and I'm glad I did that because I'm gonna pull out the thyme. It has done its job. So I'm gonna turn off the stove and I'm gonna puree the soup. Now, you don't have to puree it, you can keep it pretty chunky, but in the fall, I just love pureed vegetable soups. In the fall, I just love any soup, to be honest. And look at the color of this soup now. So pretty. That's so pretty. And look, I love this. Every now and then you get like a chunk of carrot that got missed. <laughs> but it's kind of like a little treasure hunt that way. And this soup is pretty rich and filling, so a little goes a long way. Okay, so speaking of garnish, I'm gonna get some of these beautiful shallots. Take a look, Paige. And the great thing about shallots is they're so light and like thin and lightweight that they just kind of hover on top. And then I've got some beautiful parsley. All righty, very veggie soup with fried shallots on top. A few more would be nice.